Okay guys, back again. Today we're going to talk about Stage Fright, which is uh, from 1987. Not to be confused, confused with the Stage Fright movie by Alfred Hitchcock from the 40s or 50s. I believe it was 1950s. Um, and, and not to confuse yourself also with the movie called Stage Fright from 2014, which I have not seen. I have seen the Alfred Hitchcock Stage Fright, um, and I own that one. But this Stage Fright from 1987, the one we're talking about today, is the one is the one that I'm talking about because again there's so many different movies called Stage Fright. Um this is a slasher sit on a theater stage and I don't think I have seen that many like that. I know I've seen movies like Popcorn where it's like in a movie theater but it's not like a theater stage. Uh Popcorn or like Demons, but this one I think is interesting because looking at the the plot of it, it's basic like every slasher is, but I liked how it started with a cool fake out of the theater where like you think there's a murder but then it's not. And I know that's done in a lot of slashers, but I thought that it was done well here. Um this one is dubbed question mark and some actors are dubbed, some are not and uh right before I started to record this review, I thought is this actually not an American movie? Like it looks it kind of looks like an American movie, but maybe not. I might be completely off, and might it might not be an American movie at all because I, I there were a lot of lines from actors where it's like they're not saying that that's ADR or dubbed. So it was very strange because I just didn't expect this movie to be that. I thought this movie is just like an American slasher, and I think it is, but again, I don't know. Maybe they just had a couple actors that weren't American and dubbed them, or maybe this was set in another country and then they brought it over um, and dubbed it. But yeah. I, I thought that was interesting. Um, I thought that the killer's mask in this is really cool. It's this giant owl mask, um, which I'm a sucker for those in these slasher movies. Even if it's a slasher movie I don't completely have fun with, if they've got a cool-looking mask, then I enjoy part elements of them, even if they're not that fun, um, some of them. But this one I thought was fun. I thought that it had some fun characters in it. I thought it was goofy. Um, in a good way, there was this one character who was a gay guy, stereotypical as hell gay guy in this in this movie, where he this girl goes up to him and, who's late and she says, "Was I called?" And he said, "Every name in the book, honey." Like lines like that are really funny. I like that that guy. He played a good he played a good funny guy in this movie. Um, I thought that that was memorable. I thought that the deaths in this are more memorable than I thought like there were some that I was like oh shit cool that's awesome to see um there was one where at the beginning I was like this is memorable but I don't get what it is this girl gets hit in the mouth with something I can't tell if it's like a mallet or an axe but she gets slammed in the face and then knocked down and it's pretty cool but I don't know what it is I couldn't tell if it was like a mallet or something um I I liked too that there was one kill where it was a drill through the body, which I enjoy those, like Slumber Party Massacre. I think those are fun. Um, there's one where guys chainsawed apart, like in the dark. So you don't see it much, but it's pretty cool and fun. Um, I thought that there was a good moment of acting where, like, the killer is on stage and they don't realize it's the killer and the killer kills somebody. And it's pretty good and tense in that moment. Um, and I thought that there was also a moment in this movie that I thought in my head, I was like, Rewatching Halloween 2018, like before Halloween Kills this couple months ago, there's in Halloween 2018, there are these cops and they have dialogue back and forth each other up in the car about um, about how one of them makes brownies and the other one says that's what a five year old would make if he could make his lunch. And then in this movie, in Stage Fright, there is a set with two cops and one of them is eating spinach. And he said, look, this is what my wife gives me. And she says, oh, he wanted to be like Popeye. And he just says, fuck Popeye. Like, that kind of dialogue reminded me of, like, maybe David Gordon Green watched this movie. He probably did, because he's seen a lot of horror, I'm assuming. But what? But that scene, even though it's not the same dialogue, it's two cops together in a car, back and forth with, the, back and forth with each other. And it felt very similar to that. Um, I just thought it was even even shot similarly. So I just thought that was funny seeing that set of dialogue even though it's different but it felt like it was a it was an inspiration to the Halloween 2018 that scene of the cops in this movie um I thought that was pretty funny I thought that the ending um was really pretty suspenseful because I 
I felt like throughout the movie, I was like, this is fine. It's a normal slasher. Like, I wasn't completely entertained throughout, but I was entertained in some moments. Um, but I just felt like it was a little boring for me until the last act. And the last act, I think, is really awesome in the fact that it's it's the final girl versus the killer um, on stage, but on top of the lighting. So, like, she's going to fall off. He might fall off. Then there's a moment where he falls off. He's coming back up. She's trying to use the axe to cut the rope that he's climbing up on. And it's just really effective and cool, and I enjoyed that. Um, without spoiling the ending, the, like, last couple minutes were kind of awkward and weird. I was like, what? Like, it just... It ended in a way I didn't expect. I mean, I didn't dislike the ending, but I was like... Ending I didn't realize that would end this way. Okay. That was very odd. Um, but I won't say what it is if you haven't seen it, because Stage Fright, I think, is still... For me, it was worth my time. I thought it was interesting enough. But it was slightly kind of boring. Like, there were some moments of entertainment throughout, but I just didn't love it. But I liked it. I thought it was solid enough in the slasher genre. But it's definitely not someone I'm gonna, something I'm going to rewatch again pretty quickly. So um, that's it for today. Pretty quick review um, for Stage Fright. Have you guys seen Stage Fright from 1987? Um, tell me down below uh, what you think about it, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.